Hello there, this is coding to go and in this video I will show you how you can create the impression as if your website was made of glass. This is called glass morphism. To make the glass effect look good, I recommend that the background is an image or a gradient and not a plain color. In HTML I have a container with a heading and a paragraph. The container has the class glass container. In preparation I have already defined some basic settings to make this website a bit more appealing. Margin and padding to zero, height 100% and the body has a background image. The container is centered by using Flexbox. If you want to learn more about Flexbox you can watch the video in the info card. Now I style the glass container. How exactly it should look is up to you of course. I will only go into the CSS properties that are relevant to the glass effect. To create the glass effect you need the backdrop filter property. With this property you can define how the things behind an HTML element should be rendered by the browser. In our case they should be slightly blurred. For this I used the blur method. Now I can pass a value in the brackets. For example 10 pixels. By doing this the background should be blurred. But we can't see that yet because the container has a background color. If we make this color slightly transparent we can see how the blur effect works. The larger the value I pass in the brackets, the blurrier the background gets and the thicker the glass appears. To make it look even better, you can also color the border. I use border top and border left to give the container a 1 pixels wide, white transparent border that only extends over the top left edge. This way it looks as if the light is coming from there. In addition, you can also add a box shadow. But it should be very weak because glass does not cast such a strong shadow. Of course you can also experiment with the background color to change the color of the glass. This was Coding to Go and I will see you in the next video.